I'm gonna show you my process for how I choose the best music for my videos because you're probably making one big mistake. I used to do it too. I just made a whole big travel series on my recent Iceland trip with Peter and Epidemic Sound asked me to break down how I chose the music for the final travel film. Thanks Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video and for taking us on that trip. Um, if you need music for your videos, it's definitely the best place. Check the link down below and excuse my voice, I'm still recovering <laughs> from being really sick. And for this video, I actually used three different songs to tell or enhance hands different parts of the story I was trying to tell. The first act is, is kind of all about nostalgia, my journey, how I was inspired to travel the world and capture it on video. And then the second act or part is why I stopped and the reasons for it and that travel feels is back. Newsflash if you didn't see it. And the third act or outro is almost like a credits or bloopers. So how do we find a song that fits each of those parts of my story. Okay, so here is the biggest tip that I can give you. Forget about personal preference. Forget about genres and the types of music that you like. Throw that out for a second and think first, what story are you trying to tell? And for me, trying to figure out a mood or feeling or emotion that fits that story is much easier than trying to think, should I use an indie song or a hip hop song for this video? For example, act one needed to be nostalgic, kind of feel good remembering the past, but also needs to be epic because Look at the footage, look at Iceland, it's insane. It can't just be like a blah, 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 so it has to be epic. Iceland is wild and the music has to be on the same level. The first thing I do when I'm looking for music is pop open Epidemic Sound. It's my go-to, literally I'd say about 99% of the videos I've made in the last year or so have been Epidemic Sound songs. And that's because they have such a huge library and they're always adding new songs to it. So I never get stuck listening to the same songs over and over and over again, which will drive you mad. But these tips, they still apply no matter where you find your music. Oh, and I almost forgot, a uh, new NMO drop if you missed it. Uh, we got two new hoodies. We got this really cool light gray one and a burgundy one. We have new shorts and towels. I know it's not summer, but in case you didn't realize, uh, the world is kind of crazy and that was supposed to arrive a long time ago, but we're putting them out anyways, cause I, I don't know, it's fun. Plus everybody needs a comfortable pair of home shorts. I don't know if you wear shorts at home, but I always do. And they have zippered pockets. So important so your phone's not falling out every two seconds. And you're probably gonna go on a beach vacation. So get one of the towels. It's got a pocket. It's the coolest thing ever. Uh, yeah, check out the NMO drop, treat yourself help others. Back to the music. Now, usually when I get on to Epidemic Sound, I kind of get warmed up a little bit. So I'll listen to some of the songs that Epidemic suggests on the Discover side. First, the more of what you like, which is similar songs to the ones that I've used before, the ones that I've liked or downloaded. And then I'll go through the staff picks because usually there's some really great songs in there of all genres, which can kind of spark ideas or different takes on your story that you might not have thought at first. And usually I'll end up downloading a few of those songs, but they probably won't fit the exact video that I'm working on right now. And that's when I head over to the browse tab. And this is very important. Probably the biggest breakthrough that I've had in finding the right songs and fast, efficiently, and not spending hours and hours. I always go to mood now. I don't care about the genre as much as I do about the mood, the emotion, or the feeling that the song evokes. So I know for sure the song has to be epic because Iceland, but then I'm also gonna narrow it down with another mood. And I kind of want it to be happy, but not really, not necessarily happy. I don't want it to be too dark or suspenseful or anything. So I think dreamy might be the right mood because it's kind of nostalgic, we're looking back in time. And then I'll just start listening to songs. And right away, the first song is great, but it's it's a, maybe a bit too serious, I think. I, I love the vibes for Iceland, the kind of sci-fi. Okay, that's a, that's a good start. Nah, nah, that doesn't work. Okay, what's this? I like this. Let's go to where it picks up a little bit. 
and bam, this is exactly what I need. Epic, massive hits, perfect for editing too. It has a really nice, nostalgic, kind of happy, sad vibe to it. And again, for me, the sci-fi hits really well with Iceland because it, it just looks like you're on Mars or something. Easy win, and that song worked so well. Right away, when I started editing with it, I could just tell it was enhancing the story and bringing it to life better than I could have even imagined. And I could have just used this one song for the whole video, but I think it would have gotten a bit boring and just kind of the same over and over and over again. And it's also a good signal for the viewer to change the song, like something new is happening, something different is being revealed. We're moving on to the next thing. So don't be scared of changing up the song if there's a better song that tells the next part of your story. So for act two, I wanted something that kind of wakes you up. That first song is a little bit dreamy, a little bit slow, and so I want something that's a little bit more aggressive and lots of different musical elements that I can edit to and kind of pick up the speed of the edit. I don't want you to fall asleep, so this is the time to kind of just hit you with a couple punches and really wake you up. But also the storyline is a bit more aggressive now. It's talking about all the things going on in my head, the battles, the doubts and all that stuff. And I want it to be even more epic now. So again, let's start off with moods. And let's definitely start with Epic. That's that's easy because it's Iceland and crazy. But on this one, it might be more dark, I think. Dark might be the mood that I'm looking for because it's talking about all the, the struggles and all that stuff. So let's start listening. This song, nah, it's, it's a bit of a meh song. Nothing special, nothing about it draws attention. That's because it's more vocal driven. If you listen to the vocal version, it makes more sense, but I don't want vocals because there's a voiceover. It's not a bad song, but it doesn't fit what I need here, where I need the music to really drive the visuals. This song is kind of just the same the whole time. I need a little more variety. I need high pace and some slowdowns and buildups to really emphasize the story and the visuals and different parts of the things that I'm saying. This song is really good, but the mood is off. I think I need something that's a little bit darker still. Almost maybe a little bit more angrier. And then, as soon as I heard this intro, I was like, okay, I can already see the FPV shots rolling through with this part. And then it gets dark, tons of musical elements to edit to. This is exactly what I need. And one of the funnest songs that I've edited to in a really long time. I really feel like it fit absolutely perfectly. And maybe if I spent hours and hours and hours of time, I might have found a, a little bit better song. But for me, this song really just enhanced the storyline. And that's what I'm trying to do with this music. I'm trying to enhance the storyline. I almost want it to be so the music and the visuals and the voiceover in this case all just fit into one and you're, you're not really paying attention to the music per se, you're getting this whole total experience. And then for the end credits, kind of bloopers, I wanted to be happy for sure. I wanted to leave you with a smile after, you know, a little bit of that heaviness. And there's a bunch of goofy stuff. So I wanted the song to be a bit silly, I guess. So I went with happy and eccentric because I think eccentric is kind of that, that silly vibe. And this one took a little bit longer to find. The songs just weren't feeling right. And I was just listening to song after song after song until I heard this one. And right away, that same sci-fi vibes fits really well. And it's actually the same artist as the first song. So that's perfect, fits the video nicely. And it definitely has a happy vibe to it and a little hint of like, 80s silliness. Uh, okay, I, I do like the 80s vibes. That's that's where a little bit of the pers personal preference comes in. But you can't listen to this and just not be in a good mood. I feel like it, it right away brings that that happy, good feelings, positive vibes that I wanted to bring for the end credits. And that's how I found the best songs for my Iceland travel film. And your Iceland travel film will be totally different depending on your storyline, what you're trying to communicate. Those same songs that I chose might not fit for your video. It all depends on what your story is and what emotions you're trying to evoke. What are the moods that you want people to feel and to be a part of? 
and a few other crucial tips, keep looking. Until you find the right song that fits, keep looking. If it feels off, if it feels boring, or it just, it's not fitting, then that's a good sign that it's not the right song for you right now. For that video, it doesn't fit. Some songs are just kind of meh background songs. You don't want to draw attention, you just want it to be there in the background quietly. But if you want music driving your edit like I did for this travel film, there's gotta be something interesting to it. It can't just be like, um, okay, yep. <laughs> it has to enhance your storyline and not bore them to death. And also, do not forget about sound design. It's unreal what a difference a little bit of sound design can do. And again, it's the same principles. What visual are you trying to add life to through sound? What emotions, what do you want the audience to be feeling? And then you find sound effects that fit that. Is it a heartbeat to try to you know, build a little bit of a connection with the audience? Or is it just a loud, cold wind to make them feel a little more what it was like being there? And even just to enhance edits and to bring life to your footage. But overall, the main thing is not everyone likes your music. Music is very personal, but if you really like, let's say, heavy metal music and you're always using heavy metal music in your videos, what is that communicating to the audience? Well, frustration, anger, aggressiveness, and meanwhile you're trying to tell a story about how happy you are? it doesn't quite fit. There's nothing wrong with heavy metal, but that's signaling a certain thing to the audience. And if it's not the right signal, then it's the wrong song for your video. Choose moods, not genres. That is the biggest advice that I can give to you to finding the right song, the best song for your video. Thanks so much Epidemic Sound for being an incredible company to work with and for putting together the ultimate Iceland trip. It, it, Probably the best trip, one of the best at least trips of my life. It was incredible. The people behind Epidemic Sound are so nice and just fun to be around too. And thanks Epidemic Sound for literally soundtracking my channel. I don't think I could make these videos without you guys. Uh, I hope this helped you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.